Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, you and Mr. Swagger. Just making sure. Um, I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna try doing videos on Miami Hurricanes if it works. I'll keep doing them. If I don't get a lot of feedback, I'm gonna stop. So first things first, I'm gonna start with um, this season's recruiting class and how I think it looks and who I think will be the main players for us next year. Um, first thing is uh, the two main ones are Tracy Howard and Duke Johnson. Uh, I think both come in and contribute right away. I don't think any of them will be redshirted. I think they'll all come in and play as freshmen. Um, Raphael Kirby, I think, will help out a lot. Might start second, third game of the year. Um, he'll be at the spring game, which I'll be going to, hopefully, depending on what time it's at. Um, another person I really like, Eric Flowers and Josh Witt. Eric Flowers is very physical, very powerful. Um, if he just cleans up his, his, um, technique... He could be one of the premier blockers in NCAA, and even going into his pro career, um, he's like 6'6", six, six, over 300 pounds already, I'm pretty sure. Um, but also, he's one of them, and then, yeah, he's 6'6", six, six, 315, um, and he was the one cleaning out the lanes for Randy Duke Johnson. Uh, I think it's great that both of them be coming, will be coming to Miami because they're already going to have chemistry. He knows how to clear out the lanes for him. I think he'll, he won't start first year. He might play a few games here and there. But I think that um, he'll be a backup. I don't think he'll be redshirted either. Um, Josh Witt might be redshirted. Might not be. Might come in and play as a true freshman. But he's fast to the ball, hits like a truck. Uh, another Denzel Perryman, another Raphael, another Raphael Kirby, who's another incoming freshman. Um, if guy's rated two star, he runs like a, he runs like a four five, forty, and he just runs like a, like a running back. He runs pat, he runs low to the ground. He runs as hard as he gives his hardest every down. Um, I, I just have nothing but good things to say about this guy. Um. Another guy that I think will come in and contribute is Ladarius Gunter. He's a junior college transfer. Don't know which junior college he went to, um, but from the first few days of spring practice, I've heard nothing but good things about him. Um, I'll go. I'll upload another video hopefully later, all on spring practice and what's been going on in the spring depth chart and what it looks like. Um, but also. Now, I'm not being biased here. These two guys do go, did go to my school. I, I know one of them. I talked to him a little bit. Um, I do attend West Oak Valley School. And we do have a commitment out of there. His name is Jawan Blue. And I, 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 haven't, I can't say I'm a big supporter of my team at West Boca, but I, he's a hard worker. He's, he, he didn't have as good as a senior year as a junior year. I'm not going to downplay it, I'm not going to overplay it, but he had a terrific junior season, had all the responsibility on him senior season, which that won't happen at the mind at you, and um, I think if he just gets the right coaching and, and has a positive attitude and everything, I think he could become a decent player for us. Um, one more, Robert Larkhart. Man, is this guy electrifying. I've, I've watched a video on him. I've seen him at my games, actually. I've actually watched this kid's games. And he looks like a... If he comes in and impresses in fall, he won't be here in spring. He'll be here in the fall. But if he comes in here and impresses the coaches, I am telling you, this guy will be starting next year as a true freshman. Not from the first game, but definitely later on. I think this guy will be something special for us. I might be wrong. I've been wrong in the past. But just from watching this kid's film, I really liked um, what he did. And my school does not did not have that good of a quarterback. He didn't even go to a Division One school. But this guy caught everything thrown his way. 
Oh, he looks amazing and he has after the catchability. Um, but I just love that guy. Have everything he has to offer. Another big wide two more wide receiver recruits are Malcolm Lewis and Angel G. Lewis. Um, but I, th I like Malcolm Lewis more a little bit uh, just because he has the uh, spectacular catchability and the yards after catch. While Angel G. Lewis is more per a per possession receiver and that we need one of those two. He has he has the type of speed where like he doesn't look fast on paper like on t on the screen but he's fast enough to get behind the secondary. Um that's all we need. And um uh, going to the or uh, going to the quarterback position first before I go to the defense. Um quarterback position I we have two incoming freshmen, Greg Crow and Preston Dewey who are enrolled right now, competing in spring, um, going over against Ryan Williams. Stephen Morris is actually out in this, during the spring with a back surgery. Um, so the, the three of them will be competing in the spring, and then in the fall, Morris will come back. And we're also having um, David Thompson, who is a freshman who didn't do a role. He's also a baseball star, so he'll be playing both sports for us, or he might go to the draft. But more than likely he'll stay um uh, other than that that will be all the offense now onto the defense um like i said tracy howard i think will come in right away start by the second or third game Raphael kirby i talked about dion bush is someone i can almost forgot to talk about i love dion bush um i don't think he's the next john taylor because no one will I re almost Sean Taylor is literally a once in a lifetime player. I don't think anyone would have, will ever be as good as him. I know that's over saying stuff. I think he could have been better than Ed Reed. And I know Ed Reed is one of my favorite UN players ever. I love him. I love him with the Ravens. I love him with Ray Lewis. But I think Sean Taylor would have been better than Ed Reed if he would have lived. Um. Other than that, uh, back to Dion Bush, sorry, I got sidetracked there for a second. Dion Bush, um, go, he, uh, he doesn't look that fast, but he says he runs a 4-4-40. Four, four, um, I don't think it's probably, a, like, closer to a 4-5, maybe 4-4-5-5. Four, 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 five, five. Um, but he gets to the ball, that's all we need. He's a, he, pick, he picks off fast, and he's a really good run blocking safety. Uh, run stopping safety. I think he hits hard. He's. I think he'll he'll start sophomore or junior year. Um, since Von Tomac and Ray Ray will be gone after next season. And I, as far as I've heard, Ray Ray's had a really good spring. Uh, looks to be back. Looks to be playing to almost to the way we thought he would have. Um, can't wait to see him in the spring game. I think he'll be amazing. Um. And then to the D line, we have Jelani Hamilton coming in, Tyreek McCord, uh, Jake O'Donnell, uh, Dwayne Hoylett. Can't name all these guys off the top of my head, but um, two guys that I really like are Tyreek McCord and Jelani Hamilton. Both will be playing as freshmen, I believe. Tyreek McCord actually might get the job, the starting job over Jelani Hamilton, I think, because he's a little bit faster still can't contain the running back um and we need the pass rusher right now um Anthony Chicola as we all know will be starting on the other side um as for other incoming freshmen um what could be happening uh, I mean other incoming freshmen are Earl Moore at D-Tackle Jacoby Bristol at D-Tackle um and Juan Ivory at D-Tackle none of them I think are are decent, uh, they're decent, but I don't think they're, they're not going to get past that level of decent. Um, other than that, there's others coming in, like Ladarius Gunther and Larry Hope, and people like that. Um, Larry Hope looks to be doing pretty good in spring right now. Ladarius Gunther looks to be doing amazing. Um, he's picked off a pass, he's He's been doing good in spring. I think he'll be getting some point in time. Um, other than that, though, that's my recruiting wrap-up.
let me know what you guys think and tell me if you like my videos if you do I will up be uploading more of them in the next few days I'm on spring break right now so I can do as many as I want to um, just let me, know, let me know what you guys think especially I like to hear from the TTC members because uh, if I do end up doing this I'd like to join it uh, if you guys are interested, you know, like Birdman 126, Birdman Section 126, <laughs> Gus 305, and Inside the U83, or All About the U83, my bad. And, um, let me know what you guys think, especially in Kings Life 5, also, and, and Miami Heat Kings fans. Um, and let me know, and I'll get back to me. Just comment under this video, and thanks for watching.